Good morning, everybody. My name is Nikia Trader. Thank you so much for joining me for another verse of the day today. Today is November the 29th, and I'm so excited to be able to bring God's word to you once again. But as always, before we get started, let's pray to the Lord. Dear Heavenly Father, I thank you in Jesus' name for waking me and my brothers and sisters up today, Lord. Lord, we thank you for allowing us to breathe your precious breath of life in our bodies, Lord. We thank you for the privilege and honor it is to know you and be known by you, to be able to speak to you and be in your presence and read your word. Father God, we ask in the name of Jesus that your Holy Spirit would lead and guide us this morning in all of your scripture. Lord, we ask that you will reveal your truth to us, in us, through us, Lord, for your glory and honor. Please help us, Lord, to apply your word to our lives and not just be hearers of your word, but doers of your word. Lord, by being doers of your word, Lord, we are letting our light shine. And people will see our good works and glorify our Father in heaven, which is the purpose of our existence, is to bring you glory. And Father God, we thank you for the purpose you put in our lives, Lord. And we love you, and we thank you and praise you. And in Jesus' precious and his holy name we pray. Amen. Amen. So today's verse of the day is found in Psalm chapter 25, verse 5. Lead me in your truth and teach me. For you are the God of my salvation. On you I wait all the day. All right, so this is a beautiful psalm of David. Now, in previous verses, David was asking the Lord for his help over his enemies. Um, specifically praying that his enemies will not triumph over him, nor overtake him nor um, even have their, their way with, with David. And David, if you know, um, he had a lot of enemies. Let me tell you, I mean, literally throughout his entire life, um, he had many, many enemies. And the beautiful thing is, even though he had many enemies, the Lord delivered him from each and every one of them. It kind of reminds me of that scripture, no weapon formed against me shall prosper. Um, it's not saying life, God is not saying that we won't have enemies or that no weapon won't be formed, but he does promise that our enemies will not triumph over us. And he does promise us that, um, the weapons that is formed against us shall not prosper. So, um, I in particularly like, um, the fact that, you know, David's suffering really is a great way to show, um, the God that we serve and all that he does for his children. So David, um, once again, crying out to God for rescue from his enemies. Um, he writes here in verse five, um, asking God to, um, show him, show him, um, his ways and lead him by those ways that he shows David and continues to say that, to ask God to lead him in truth in in the Lord's truth, not just truth, because everybody has a little source of truth, but there's only one source of truth, truly. And that is in the Lord, Lord God. And, and David's asking God to lead him in that truth um, and to teach him um, because he is the God of my salvation. I love that. Um, and the reason why I believe David asked the Lord to lead him by his truth Um is because God is the creator of all, right? There is no source of life outside of God. There is no source of anything outside of God. And because God is and always was and will always be, he is the primary and only source of everything, including truth. God knows our beginning, our middle, and our end. There's no other God like him who does tell of the end before the beginning, the word of God says. And so because God is sovereign over all, and because he's Lord over all, having dominion and power um, always, constantly, he's able to lead his children in his truth, through his word, by the power of the Holy Spirit. And we should, as Christians, be asking God the same thing, to show us his word, to lead us in his word, which is truth, and and, and to, to abide in him, which we are called to do, because 
when we are led by God and his word and according to his truth, we, we will still face opposition, but we are in line and in tune with God when we are led by him and his word. God promises to keep us. That's why David writes in today's verse of the day that he is the God of my salvation. God saves us from our enemies. God keeps us from every every circumstance that we may face in life. And I think that's the beauty of, of, of today's verse of the day because David knows that God is able and capable and has delivered him from all all of his enemies, but he knows that he was supposed to walk and is to walk according to God's will, way, and word in order to abide in the safety of God's presence. And here, David concludes, on you, I wait all the day. How beautiful is that? He's willing to wait on the Lord to deliver him from his enemies. Now, I remember a couple of situations where um, David's enemies almost did overtake him. You can read that in First and Second Samuel, um, but where his enemies almost overtook him. So, if your enemies are like basically on your back, right, almost getting getting to you, get ready, get at you, and you say, "I will wait on you, Lord, all the day." I will wait on you to deliver me, even though my problems are right there with me, ready to overtake me. That is faith in the sovereign that King David had. That's the same faith we're supposed to have in God that knowing that God can and he is able, even if he doesn't. But God will never leave us nor forsake us, brothers and sisters. And we can take complete confidence that he is who he says he is, and he will always be. If I can do anything, I want to encourage you today to continue to have faith in God and trust him despite your circumstance, despite your enemies, despite the mountains um, that appear big and and large. They're not big, nor, nor are they bigger than God himself. Brothers and sisters, thank you so much for joining me for today's verse of the day. I hope and pray that you come back tomorrow for another one. And until then, may God bless you. Have a beautiful and wonderful day. Bye.